All right, guys. Hey, James first with another episode of The Marketing Show. And with us today, we have Jake from Long Island. What, how can I help you today? We're talking about uh, Noisy and how it can replace Slack. Ooh. I'm a Slack Pro customer. It's getting expensive. Getting expensive. Okay. Okay. That's a great question. This episode is sponsored by Extendly for High Level. If you haven't met the good folks over at Extendly, uh, you ought to take a look and see what they have to offer. They're one of the bigger support agencies in the high level space right now. So they, they have a snapshot store with completely crazy built out snapshots, uh, white label onboarding support and training, high level dashboard customization, as well as training uh, from the Blairs, the Academy for High Level, Melissa and Stephanie Blair. So I had a chance to meet Bayant in person just recently in Dallas at the Sasspreneur event. We had a chance to get to know each other better. I've also been working with them and teaching and coaching in their Facebook group. And you may have seen some of my tips and tricks videos that I put on for them as well. So if you haven't had a chance to take a look at Extendly, go to getextendly.com. That's getextendly.com. Now back to the show. I wanted to take the time and, and answer this properly. Let me go ahead and share my screen here. Uh, so yeah, someone also put me on to Noisy. Um, I was actually running Slack uh, simultaneously with at the same time as Noisy because I wanted to really put them both through their paces. And for those of you that don't know, Noisy is this kind of a Slack alternative. It's supposed to be a combination of Zoom, Slack, and Dropbox. Okay. Now, compared to compared to Slack, like this is like a, a AppSumo lifetime deal, 159 bucks. And some people probably got it for way, way cheaper than that, you know, months and months ago. Um, there is this little thing here where it's, uh, you can pick uh, one code or two codes. And I actually sprung for the two code plan because you do get a little bit more. And I'm thinking the answer, yeah. So what do you get on- It's a nice little touch. Yeah, it's, it's a C name. Yeah, the, the, everything is really the exact same except for these last three things, which is the ability to uh, have your own C name. So instead of logging into noisy.com, uh, I definitely wanted to be able to log into, you know, so I, I have my tech support. So I got a C name uh, and I go to team.mytechsupport.com. That's where my clients are gonna log in. That's where my team members log in. And so this is a little bit behind the scenes here of that. I, I think that I, I don't really love the, uh, I don't really love the, the, um, the interface like a ton, um, the, but the price was right, right? And it's a, like I said, it's a one-time fee. Um, you you have you have your one-on-one -on -one messages you have uh kind of open channels private channels for for what i'm doing i actually can i i have these tickets like for the bounty hunters or my tech tech support all of these channels are dynamically generated on the fly and i also That's think, really cool. yeah it's really cool that is really cool. you have you know you you have so many cool things with maybe with zapier that you can do with slack uh but one of the things they they will not let you uh, okay so a couple things two huge things it's actually really bad. <laughs> slack yeah. zaps are not yeah so yeah you have you you would think the slack's been around a long time so is uh this so i was automatically creating channels that was cool there's there's some cool little zaps here but they would not let me do a couple things oh well the main one was um also invite external users to to a channel okay and um and yeah so so first of all so let's go back here 318 dollars lifetime deal not another i haven't had to pay another penny also the 60 day money back guarantee i said hey i can try this for two months and really put it through it put it through its paces and then get a refund and most people probably don't actually get the refund you know or think about it uh really easy too I've had some oh, you, where it just didn't work for our use case and it's two clicks if you yeah, actually don't want it. Get it get the refund. So yep. um it actually it took me probably two it probably took me two or three months to really build it out the, the, the systems that I wanted to so I wasn't even fully you know into it. Um and so I I kept it. Uh, now compared to Slack pricing, 725. 1250 per user per month. I believe that's what it's saying, right? Yeah. And we pay the year, which is tough. $87. Yeah. Per so, person. so, um, with Slack, you can do a lot with the free plan, but you start to lose that history. Right. And, 
Um, and so with noisy, it's supposed to be completely uh, unlimited. Now you can actually um, do vo these video calls right inside of the thing. But for my purposes, um, I really needed Zoom's like ability to, to, uh, to annotate on a screen annotate on a screen, you know, sh the share screen, just, just, I'm just so spoiled by all the features of, of Zoom that uh, I haven't canceled my Zoom subscription because of the, but it would be, it would be really cool to have like these tickets and have people in here and like have that, the inline, you know, at, when the call is done, the inline video is just sitting right there. Um, I also- I have, I have a question about that record feature actually. Yeah. So we use Huddle all the time, uh, okay. it, you know, talk designer and developer same call um i use the video in line uh in mm -hmm. slack all the time yeah and uh how easy is it to get everybody together from all different channels in one in one call with the video um yeah i really haven't used it a ton um i would i think you just yeah i think you basically start you basically start a video chat like right in line in the in the group um mm -hmm. so it should be yeah, it should be pretty, pretty seamless. Uh, but like I said, I haven't done a ton of that. Uh, they mm -hmm. also have some, they also have like files and like tasks and some tasks that I really, I'm not really using tasks at all. Um, so what's cool, like I'm, uh, unlimited users, right? Unlimited uh, messages. Um, and then, yeah, the price, that's the thing. You just can't ignore the price. I also just want to talk about some of the integrations. I found that, uh, you know, Zapier, it only had like send channel a message and send group message. So very, very limited with the Zapier uh, events. But uh, over on Pably, you, um, you, have, you have quite a few more. So look at these actions here. So you have quite a few more actions. Um, what for some of the things I wanted to do, I w uh, was basically making like API calls, um, like right here. So like these API calls. And so that was a real pain to uh, get the documentation and figure out how to use the API. The API doesn't, re it's not really well that great documented. Um, so noisy API documentation yeah like it doesn't even like it you know it doesn't even i probably spelt it wrong too but uh okay maybe okay maybe i don't know i don't know if this is it or not probably not anyways long story short i i there's this there is like a there is a noisy channel there this is the hector network maybe the founder the ceo so there is like a support thing here uh, where you can actually talk to somebody. I just, I found like, I just felt like you're kind of like know what you're getting, right? You kind of get what you pay for. Uh, I, but I feel like you do get a lot for what you do, what you pay for here. But, you know, you've probably been spoiled being on Slack. So you, you might find some things that you're missing, but it's like, can you live with it kind of thing? Um, that being said, all that being said, um, I, I, we're not on Slack. We're on noisy. Right. And I, I love, yeah. So when I put, when I put up a new ticket here, when I, when a new ticket comes in, um, you know, I, I, I post stuff like I post, here's a new ticket coming in. Uh, I, these are people that are automatically being added to that channel via zaps and stuff when uh when someone uh, on, on an event if, if, a, if a bounty hunter or a ticket an agent claims that ticket then they get added right and so I, i'm able to use zaps and api calls and uh um and kind of make it work now um yeah so how do i put so it? Um, i was gonna ask you about this yeah I, I blanked. I'm That's sorry. Okay. I was just, I was going to say like, so like <laughs> you, you get some, you get some stuff. Like you can see I'm doing a lot with noisy here in this zap, right? 
So I'm creating, I'm creating tickets. I'm, po- I'm actually posting messages. I'm inviting people. Um, I'm, you know, I'm doing some cool stuff. Um, that being said, it's been, it's taken me, I might've, it's taken me a long time to, to be able to, to get to this point. Uh, I've had a lot of like feedback complaints. Like it's kind of like this, it's kind of like this weird janky software that you, you know, that you, that it, for 300 bucks, you know, it, it's, it's unlimited and it, and it kind of works, you know, it does work. Right. What are some uh, practical use cases that you might use noisy for, you know, as opposed to just using Slack? Yeah. Well, the, 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 for me, it was just the price. And then the fact that I could um, automatically invite people to the, to those channels as needed. Those are the, my biggest, two biggest uh, reasons I, I gave it a shot. Yeah. There's DMS, there's group chat. It seems to work. Other people looked at uh, Discord. I know Discord was kind of in the running, right? Discord was in the mm-hmm. running. There's also another one called Matters Most. If you're look at, if you're looking into that, Matters Most um, Slack. It's supposed to be like an open source um, Slack. So I never thought about using Discord for. Uh... For what you're also doing. Also, like a, game, a gaming thing, but uh, you know, yeah. for running a company, if it has better pricing than Slack, it might be, it might be better. So I guess when I was looking at, I was looking at the pricing and then the, and then the integrations, right? The ability to do, you know, so the fact that Noisy has an API that you can call, the fact that it had some zaps and stuff, that it let me do some things that I couldn't on Slack. So I got some stuff I couldn't do, and it and it was a a one time. You know, it was a one-time um, price, right? Three hundred bucks. It's like what? It's like for three hundred bucks. It, you know, why not just run it in parallel? You know, why yeah, not just, you can. You, you could just you can eat, try it for two months. Yeah, for three. Yeah, for two months. Try it for three hundred. Even if you kept it, uh, and so I was just like, I'm gonna I'm gonna run these in simultaneously and uh see where the pain points are right kind of where is the rub where the when the rubber meets the road um and, and yeah i uh to, uh the the api you know figuring out how it works but it, I, I like i said today i'm using it and it's and it's kind of it's kind of slick just took me a how while to, to get there with notifications and you know oh, making sure like everybody's getting the messages that is a great question I, there is, there is like, um, there's preferences here, note and notifications, right? All active one-on-one never, I, but I, we have had some complaints that, uh, some people weren't getting stuff. I, I, I kind of don't have that visibility. Like, I don't know what it's like. Uh, that being said, that being said, I do want to point out that there is a, there's a mobile app, right? There's a mobile app as well which is, mm-hmm. you know, which is cool. There's also, um, so there's the, you're, what we're looking at here is the, the web-based version, but this is the, uh, like, this is the desktop app, right? So there's the desktop app, there's the web app, and then there's the, um, the mobile, the mobile app um, as well. So I, I think it's a great value for, uh, for, you know what I might do? I like to do this with AppSumo apps. I have two emails for work. One is like our legacy agency and one is our regular agency. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'll usually like, if I see an app that I like on AppSumo, but I don't want know if it's worth like the 150, they've got their free trial there. I'll just use the legacy, like, legacy agency email for the free trial. Mm-hmm. If I like it, I'll go purchase on our new agency. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, so, so like do that. Yeah. yeah. So here's the, um, yeah, here's the desktop apps for Windows, Mac OS, Debian, and then you have uh, Android and Apple. So, yeah, I'm, hopefully that's a that's more a more in depth review that you'll get anywhere else. Um, but yeah, man, I hope that helps you make your decision. It's kind of it's yeah, you get sixty days to try. It's three hundred bucks, or try it for the one fifty, and go from there. So get that get that week trial or whatever they're offering on the website too before, you know, what's that now? 
Oh, I'm saying like the, the the lifetime meal is such a great offer anyways, but if you're still on the fence, like, I don't know if I want to pull the card out. Yeah. Drop 200 bucks on this. If it's like not going to work, it's going to be a lot of time to set up. Yeah. I'll just sign up for that seven day free trial uh, on a different email and that's a yeah. trick. Oh, oh, uh, so what do you, okay. I'll just drop in. You know, oh, I, thought personal doing, I thought maybe you were doing that on, on, on app sumo. No, no. So what I'll do is like, if I, if I don't know if I want to do the lifetime deal, I'll just try it for free for a week. You know, it'll help me make a password. So yeah. You know, okay. You so you just password. went directly to noisy then. Yeah. And then it's as easy as uh, setting up. Like now you're already in there. So uh, yep. see team, one, yes. two, three, I have five. had some, I have had some Spanish stuff too come through. Like there's, I think they, yeah. Yeah, so now I've got my team set up. There you go. Test team, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Six. Huh? I don't know why it's having me do this again, but yeah, it is in Spanish. So it's probably, a lot of the times there's like a Spanish developer and they, they don't know all the areas that like, yeah. this yeah. happens all the time with our two deals. They, okay. There's so many things going on. Uh, okay, I'm gonna ignore that. So yeah, you make your... Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah, there's my there's my test team now. now right here. Yeah, Just, yeah, uh, perfect. This is pretty snappy. And then it has, it's going to pop you up with the notifications. I'm going to hit don't allow because I'm normally a Chrome user. Yeah. Um, you got the files. It's pretty Thank easy you. to get in here. I gotta say that. Um, and then this task board. I'm kind of interested in this. So okay. let's see. How do you create a task? Um, New. I haven't. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, you know. In? It, no. At the end of the day, it, it kind of it is what it is. Have a play with it. But with that being said, guys, I I you know I don't make a buck off of this one. You know, I, there's no affiliate link for you. This is just pure like helping someone out today. Um, with that being said, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Thanks, James. This was cool. Thanks. You bet, man. Hope you enjoyed the show. Advice given is for educational purposes only and may not be applicable to your business. You should know that the marketing show receives compensation through its affiliate relationship for the products and services it recommends. Thank you for your support, and we hope to see you on the next episode of The Marketing Show.